Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. As you can see, I'm in a new setting today. I'm actually in my home country, Beirut, Lebanon. I'm staying here for two weeks visiting with my family. And of course, I will continue to post to the extent possible, but it will be in this new setting for the next couple of weeks. So the topic of today's video is the two different ways in which you can actually manifest. There's through mind and then there's through the other way, which I'll be talking about in this video. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I offer both email and video coaching. So if you need help in manifesting any of your desires, I can definitely help you through manifestation coaching as well as through identity shifting, which I'll be talking more about in today's video. But before we get started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I predominantly talk about impressing the subconscious mind. And the way it works is you have your core beliefs and you work on creating a new story at the beliefs level through both core beliefs as well as thoughts and beliefs. So here are assumptions and beliefs. And a lot of the time, these are at subconscious level, as well as they do impact your mental diet, your conscious thoughts. So by repeating affirmations, you're going down and trying to change the subconscious way you view the world. And as a result, your physical reality has them to change. But you do realize that actually, while affirming is a very strong way to manifest and I really love affirmations and I use affirmations a lot. I have not necessarily only manifested through affirmations. A lot of the times I've actually manifested using the other way, which I will be talking about in this video. So the first way, as we mentioned, is through impressing your subconscious mind. The first way is working through your mind. It's working with your mind. I spoke a lot about this in one of my videos is how your dominant assumptions are what manifest and how the subconscious mind works with the conscious mind to manifest your reality and whatever is dominant within your subconscious mind then has to manifest. I will link that video above because it really explains how that is working. Through repetition, you are able to impress those new assumptions and then it has to manifest in your reality however that process is working through the mind so we're working through and with the mind we're working at changing our subconscious way we view the world and then our outer reality has to reflect that you're kind of programming your mind to tell a different story and then you also have to control your mental diet in the process because obviously you cannot negate all the work you're doing through affirmations. Now, the other way is actually not working through the mind. It's by transcending the mind. And as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, you have per a number of different realities in which you are experiencing different things. And one of them is a reality where you are experiencing your desire whatever that is and they all are possible and you can absolutely do that by impressing a new story into your subconscious mind but in the other method you are transcending the mind you're going beyond the mind allowing your higher mind to take you from a to b so you're not working on your mind you're allowing your higher mind to take you to a brand new reality and this is what I refer to as identity shifting. And it's actually something I also work with my clients on to help them manifest a different reality. Now, if you are understanding that everything is a reflection of your subconscious mind and you're not repeating affirmations in this specific process, you're actually not working with the mind. You're completely transcending it. And the way it's really working is by you being fully present being present in the moment and disengaging with your mind. That's how you transcend it. 
And so then you're thinking, well, how am I actually impressing anything new into my subconscious mind with this method? And you see a lot of coaches out there and teachers and manifestation spiritual teachers talk about this. It's like creating your life, but they don't necessarily talk about working through your subconscious mind. They say to identify with who you really are at spiritual level, or they say aligning with the I am, the fact that I am the creator and just aligning with that. And it doesn't involve repeating affirmations. It's really just being about being clear about what it is that you want, your intention, and then allowing that to manifest. A lot of them talk a lot about meditation. So let's say Gabby Bernstein, Dr. Wayne Dyer, Dr. Joe Dispenza. There's a lot of the element of meditation in that. And the whole point of that is to disengage with the physical mind. It's about transcending the physical mind. And that is absolutely a way that you can manifest. It's really about allowing your higher mind to take you to that alternate reality and you do it by being present by not being in your mind not being at all in the thinking mind so you know how we talk in this method when you work through the mind you're saying repeat the affirmations and then control your mental diet the opposing thoughts here you're just not thinking period like you're superseding or transcending your thinking mind and then as you do that that stillness being in that stillness through meditation or mindfulness or any form of being fully present as Eckhart Tolle actually explains in the power of now you're you're really being in alignment with your higher mind with the spirit within you and when you do that you can automatically be taken to that parallel reality but then I still didn't answer how are you impressing your subconscious mind actually you're not in this new parallel reality so i showed you the graph where you're going from a to b to c whatever that reality is you're actually shifting the full identity so your identity comes with its own core beliefs it comes with its own thoughts and then with its corresponding emotions and actions and so when you shift, you're going really from identity A to identity B. And identity B is coming with its own beliefs. So you're kind of literally transcending the mind. And it's actually a very powerful way to manifest. And I've manifested a lot of things in this manner. So I would just set the intention and decide what it is that I want. And then I just let go of all thoughts. So this method may require a little bit more meditation and stillness or just getting out of your head you don't actually need to be sitting still in meditation you can be having your cup of coffee or preparing your cup of coffee and being fully present so that element of presence or not being in your mind is very therapeutic first of all because you're disengaging with the negative thoughts that are taking you into that place of lack oftentimes you're completely disidentifying with it and being fully in the present moment where everything is actually okay right you think in this current moment i am there is well-being i feel fine and that's what Eckhart Tolle talks about in the power of now the thing is that that's also how you can manifest and you suddenly start seeing things unfold and happen for you. And you think, well, I didn't actually affirm. Maybe you visualize sometimes when you're in meditation, your mind might go there, but really you're not affirming or trying to confirm a new story in your mind. And that is why it, it seems to feel quite natural because it kind of unfolds with less effort. And really all you're doing is just being fully present. Now, this is not to say that this is easier than affirming. Actually, probably a lot of the time you feel you want to affirm because you feel you're doing something to manifest. But the element of presence is also associated a lot of the time with letting go. And it's not letting go. You're just letting go of obsessing because you're no longer thinking about it that much. Now, is thinking about it wrong? No. Thinking about it in the right way is absolutely positively a good thing to do but here you're not thinking about it at all 
because oftentimes when you think about it, you're in your mind, it can stray, right? It can go towards, well, how is it going to happen? Your, your thoughts are all interconnected. So when you're thinking about your object of desire, whatever it is, it may bring in new thoughts or memories. And sometimes these memories are not so pleasant. By being in presence, you're not in your mind at all. So you're not allowing yourself to go back into the memories and the past and things that were unpleasant, even if you didn't intend to go there. So here you're fully in presence. And believe it or not, that is often how you are manifesting the small desires. You're not sitting and affirming for them, but you don't have opposing thoughts, right? So it's easier to do it, but even if you're not in full presence, you're not opposing it. Whereas in presence, you're neither thinking about it positively or negatively, you're really off the topic. And that is actually a very powerful way of doing things. And through habit, you think, well, it's hard not to think about what we want. Actually, through habit, a matter of two, three or four days, you can. You can practice not thinking about it at all. And then that is when it can happen super fast. I do offer this service as identity coaching. Now, I do have a visualization exercise that I take you through. That is part of that package. So if this sounds interesting to you, you can definitely find the information below. It's called identity shifting. Now, in this type of manifesting, it's important that you practice becoming more mindful, not being in your mind. And I do help you with that. But if you are someone who is just starting out and you're in your mind a lot, this may not be the best way for you to go. That's where I would recommend manifestation coaching because I help you work through the mind, through the mind, affirming and then controlling your opposing thoughts. Because when you're in your mind a lot, it takes a little bit of practice to become fully present. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up. This will help my channel grow and I hope to see you again in the next video.